This training video is going to step you through the pre-training software check that we will be doing. Uh, this doesn't replace the Teams meeting that we have for everyone uh, where we meet in groups and kind of check out your software, but this is sort of a, a preview of what we will be going through during that Teams meeting to give you all of the information in one place. Uh, if you view this video and it looks like everything's fine, uh, still do attend the Teams meeting and uh, check in with us as far as uh, the, the pre-training software check. Again, this is a supplement to that just to kind of give you the information that you will be going through during the pre-training software check. Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Sexton with the Florida Department of Transportation CAD office. This is your pre-training software check walkthrough. I'm going to show you how to make sure that you have the latest software and how to navigate the workspace. You should have an f.connect folder on your desktop, as well as a launch icon for f.connect in whatever applications you have installed. If we open up this folder, Let's look for Workspace Doctor. Go ahead and double click that to launch. This is going to tell you a number of things. You should see that the Workspace Doctor version is 10.09.0000. That corresponds to the version of the F.Connect software that you have. There are two variables listed here at the bottom of the dialog. There's your F.Organization variable, and that points to where your F.Connect software is installed. In my case, I have a standalone local workstation. The f.worksets variable shows you where your work sets are. In this folder, there's going to be an f.subfolder. That's where all of your work sets or projects will live. That's the way the software is set up. There will be config and DGNWS files corresponding to each work set, so just bear that in mind. I'm going to click these three dots to the left of work sets. This will bring up a Windows Explorer dialog. You see there's the f.subfolder corresponding to the f.workspace. If we open this up, you'll see the zero work set template and as I described before, a CFG and a DGNWS file that correspond. That's how Open Roads Designer locates your work sets based on those files relative to the folder location. Okay. So double check your work sets, make sure you know where they are. That's going to be critical to setting up your data set for training. Next to the run button, there is another browse button to the left of it. This brings up another dialog showing what software I have installed. You should see the 10.9 version of f.connect. The f dot version should be 10.9. If it's not, I'll show you where to download the latest software and give you a general idea of how to update it. You should also see your ORD version. That's the version of the Open Roads Designer that you have installed. In my case, it's 10.09.0091. This is the certified version that goes with the 10.09 version of the f.connect software. So you need to make sure that you have the 10.09.0091 version installed. If you do not have that version of the Open Roads Designer installed, you'll simply need to uninstall it download the 10.09.0091 version from Bentley and install that. And of course, as always, when installing any of the Bentley products where the installer is an EXE file, be sure to right click on the installer, right click on that EXE file and select run as administrator. Even if you're logged in as administrator, you need to force that to run as administrator to make sure the software installs correctly. That's not necessary to do with the f.connect software because we deliver our installer as an MSI file which automatically forces to run as administrator. Okay. If you are having problems with the uh, f.connect software loading, you can double check your ORD configuration right here using this button. This brings up your config file. You'll see the Ustation custom configuration location on my system is set to f.connect on my local C drive. If you have a client server installation, this should point to your server installation. And it goes just up to the f.connect level, right like that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close these dialogs and launch OpenRoads Designer. 
The first time you launch Open Roads Designer, it'll say no workspace, no work set. But if you've used one of the workspaces or work sets before, these drop downs might be populated. I'm going to select the F dot workspace. You see it automatically populates my work sets. The only work set that I have is the zero work set template. I am going to open a file in the template work set just to double check my F dot software. Again, don't do any work inside the template. We're just going to open up the blank file just to double check. OK, once you've got Open Roads Designer open, double check to, uh, to see that you've got Open Roads Modeling selected from the workflow dropdown. And you should see the F dot ribbon on the tab that's to the far right of the ribbon. If that populates correctly, you are good. You can select the About, and this will show you what version of f.connect you have installed. This is another spot where it will tell you. This does not show you what you have installed as far as the Bentley software. This shows you what you should have installed. So while Workspace Doctor shows you what you do have installed as far as the platform goes, this shows you what you should have installed. So if you want to know what you actually have installed for Open Roads Designer, you go to Workspace Doctor to look for that. But just to check what version of f.connect you have, you can check that here. Let's go to the website real quick. We're going to talk about a few things. The f.cad website is located at www.f.gov slash cad, C-A-D-D. -D. We're going to look at two specific things. The first is the software. If you select CAD software from the left side of the screen under Most Requested, It'll take you to our downloads page where you can select f.connect. This course is going to be taught in f.connect. So let's just double check and see what we can see on the f.connect download page. There is an install guide. If you don't have the software installed, I highly recommend reading the installation guide. Client server workstation installation. By now, we should have determined what sort of configuration you have um, and how best to update it if you don't have the 1009 version installed. If you got the workstation installation, you would want to uninstall the old workstation and install the new workstation. It's as easy as that. You do have to uninstall, reinstall. If you've got a client server installation, you will need someone who, uh, whoever works on your server to uninstall the f.connect server installation when everyone is out of OpenRose Designer everyone has gone home or is taking a lunch break, logged out, go ahead and uninstall the server installation and install this newest server installation. So that's only if you need to update. If, you are, if you're already running the 1009 version of our software, you don't need to worry about that. But if you do need to update, you do need to uninstall workstation and install the new one, or for client server, uninstall the server and install the new one. I would recommend updating your client as well. That does require an uninstall and reinstall, but it only takes a few seconds. It's a very, very small file. Those are MSI files. They will require that you have admin rights, but you don't need to force them to run as administrator. They'll automatically run as administrator. If you need to update all of your software, what you do is uninstall the f.connect software, uninstall OpenRoads Designer, install the certified version of OpenRoads Designer, and then install f.connect in that order. Now, during that installation of OpenRoads Designer, there's some additional configuration steps that are outlined in the installation guide. I would highly recommend reading the installation guide during that process. Okay. Next, let's talk about the data set. This video might be used for future training, but um, specifically, this video is being created for the traffic plans course. So let's go to Training Courses. Scroll down until you see Open Roads Designer Connect Edition Applications. These are all of the f.connect courses. Let's select Traffic Plans. You'll see here is access to the manual, or the training guide, rather. Training guide. We call them training guides, not training manuals. Uh, the training guide is right here. So if you want to download that, you can do that. It'll come up on your screen. 
This is the data set. Let's go ahead and download the data set. I'm going to save the data set. It's going to take a minute to download. I have the data set downloaded. I've downloaded a number of uh, data sets for training, so this one has been appended with a one on the end, but you should just simply say dataset.zip. What you'll want to do is extract all This will extract it to your downloads folder. You'll see data set in here. You'll see complete. And you'll see start. OK, what you want to do is go to the folder that says start. And extract that. Now, admittedly, if you're running Windows and you're not using like WinZip or something, you should be able to just browse directly into these folders without having to extract them. Browse directly into the zip file and say, oh, OK, I'm going to grab these files. Um, but I'm extracting them just in case someone's using a third party zip program because their um, IT folks have locked down your ability to just browse into a zip. We ran into that a couple of times in previous trainings. So here we see start. OK. You want to go in here and find the folder. This is buried a couple of folders deep. This is your actual folder, your data set folder. That means if you double click on it, you'll see all of the structure inside that. What I'm going to do is go ahead and copy that to my work sets location. Into the F dot folder, I will paste that. Okay. But we have to go back and get the CFG and DGNWS. And that's going to be in that start folder as well. Just grab those two, copy, go back to your work sets location, F dot folder. This is where you paste those. Okay. It may be in C work sets, it may be on your server, depending on how your company has your work sets folder set up. If it's not set up like this with an F dot subfolder or you don't know where your work sets are located, please let me let me know ahead of time and we'll go ahead and do our best to assist you in correcting that. I'm going to close Open Roads Designer and restart it. I should have closed it earlier. Double click on the F dot connect for Open Roads Designer. I'm opening that up and now you see that work set. The training works at 220-495-55201 under bar CE is located here. And you can browse any of these folders to see the files that you can be working with during the training. And then open up a file. And open the blank file. And there you go. That is what you need to know to get ready for your f.connect training. If you have any questions or if anything does not work exactly as you'd expect it to work, please let me know. I'll be glad to assist. I'm going to put my email up on the screen here. All right. So if you need any assistance, please send me an email. Please put in the subject line f.connect traffic plans training or setup training, training setup, something to that effect. Training and setup are good words to have in the subject line. And I'll get with you. I will schedule a go-to meeting, and we can get together with your IT folks. It's important to schedule it with your IT folks as well. Let me know if there's a specific time that works best for that, and we will do that. So thank you for taking the time to watch my training video, my pre-training training video, and uh, enjoy your training.